Hello Stardust Monkey. On Friday I spent an hour floating naked in salty water in complete darkness. Flotation tanks or isolation tanks have been around since the 50s according to Wikipedia. People deprive themselves of sensory input in order to delve into their minds. Why? Why would people do this? Why would I do this? Masochism? The mind when deprived of outside experiences turns inward. People have reported vivid hallucinations, out-of-body experiences, and an increased sense of introspection and insight. And yeah, I'm into that. I was pretty nervous leading up to the float. Having just watched Stranger Things, I was half concerned I'd end up in the upside down. But once I stripped down and slipped inside of the tank, it was actually pretty pleasant. The salt in the water allows you to float extremely easily, and after a while your mind loses track of your body. I didn't have any vivid hallucinations this time around, but I did get to have a really interesting and deep meditation. With my body floating without sensory input, in complete silence, in complete darkness, I felt like I'd kind of been in there forever. It was familiar, like being inside of your own head in the inside out kind of way. Really, if I had to describe it, I'd say it was like being inside of a space womb. After a while, I physically couldn't tell if my eyes were open or closed. The fractals I could see in the flashes of images were there either way. I had gone in with a goal. I wanted to focus on one particular block I've had for quite a few years, and I did get to delve into it and tease out the edges of it a bit especially my history with that particular block. But I didn't have any really revelatory insights this time. And I don't think an hour is really long enough. Next time, I definitely want to try the two hour float and see if I have a different experience with that. I also want to read up a bit more and see how it best to prepare. I find it pretty hard to describe it to you. It's one of those experiences that you kind of have to try in order to get. So if you've ever thought about trying a flotation tank, you definitely should. It's quite amazing and I'll keep you updated with my future floats. That's all for now, friends. Let me know in the comments your experiences and thoughts about flotation tanks. I really can't wait to hear about them.